Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you could communicate with individuals from your dreams, or have you ever made an effort to connect with the souls of those who have passed away? Recently, Father Jim Blunt recounted an extraordinary experience in which he was guided by Our Lady to embark on a journey into hell. During this profound and unsettling venture, he encountered a well-known individual enduring suffering in the afterlife. This unique and spiritually significant event underscores the mysterious and often dramatic ways in which divine intervention can lead one to confront and engage with souls beyond our earthly existence. Father Jim Blunt recently shared a remarkable story with Catholics about a journey he took to hell. During this extraordinary experience, he encountered none other than Michael Jackson. This account was part of his testimony about the unusual and profound events he witnessed during his visit to the afterlife. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversation of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. In a remarkable and deeply spiritual experience, Father Jim Blunt was guided by Our Lady on an extraordinary journey to hell. This divine intervention came as a profound revelation, and the purpose of this journey was to witness the state of souls in the afterlife. As Father Blunt descended into the dark and unsettling realm, he was overcome with a sense of both awe and dread. The atmosphere was heavy with suffering and despair, and the cries of the damned echoed around him. Amidst this eerie landscape, Father Blunt encountered various souls enduring their eternal punishments. As Father Jim Blunt made his way down into hell, he felt a deep mix of awe and fear. The place was shrouded in a thick, heavy darkness that seemed to swallow up all light and hope. It was like stepping into a terrible nightmare where the normal rules of time and space didn't apply, leaving everything in a chaotic mess. The ground beneath him was scorched and barren as if it had been burned by an endless fire. Rivers of molten lava slowly meandered through the bleak landscape, their fiery tongues reaching up toward the dark sky. The heat was intense, making the air feel stifling and almost unbearable, both physically and emotionally. All around Father Blunt, the air was filled with the cries of the damned, creating a haunting symphony of pain and despair. These cries weren't just sounds but seemed to be a real presence of suffering that echoed throughout hell. The voices of those trapped here were full of deep regret and hopelessness, reflecting their endless torment. The souls in hell were punished in extreme ways, each punishment fitting their sins from life. Some were bound in chains of burning metal, others were submerged in rivers of acid, or tormented by invisible forces. Their suffering was both physical and mental, with many souls trapped in endless cycles of pain and despair, living in a constant state of misery. The sky above was a swirling mess of dark clouds and lightning, casting an eerie flickering light over everything. The air was thick with the smell of sulfur and decay, a constant reminder of the death and destruction that filled this place. The ground seemed alive with demonic energy, occasionally bursting into flames or spewing toxic smoke. Amid this harrowing experience, he was unexpectedly face to face with a well-known figure from the earthly realm, Michael Jackson. The King of Pop, who had left a significant mark on the world with his music and influence, was now in the depths of hell, a sight that both surprised and troubled Father Blunt. Michael Jackson, though visibly distressed, managed to speak to Father Blunt. With a grave and somber tone, he uttered a chilling prophecy, America will disappear forever. Michael Jackson expressed his belief that America was at risk of falling if the spirit of its young people continued to decline each day. He felt that the vitality, enthusiasm, 
and values of the younger generation were crucial to the nation's strength and success. According to him, if the youthful spirit marked by hope, ambition, and a positive outlook diminished or became increasingly disheartened, it would lead to a weakening of the country's foundational ideals and potential. Michael Jackson, during his encounter in hell, conveyed a profound concern about the future of America. He expressed a deep belief that the country's stability and prosperity were closely tied to the vitality and spirit of its young people. In his view, the energy and enthusiasm of the youth were essential to driving the nation forward and maintaining its strength. Jackson argued that as the spirit of the younger generation began to wane, characterized by diminishing hope, ambition, and a positive outlook on life the foundation of the country itself was at risk. He observed that if young people became increasingly disheartened, disillusioned, or apathetic, it would have a cascading effect on the nation's overall health. This decline in youthful vigor could lead to a weakening of the core values and ideals that America was built upon. He believed that this erosion of the youthful spirit would not only affect individual lives but also undermine societal progress and cohesion. Without the drive and optimism of its younger citizens, America could face significant challenges in addressing its problems, achieving its goals, and maintaining its position as a strong and vibrant nation. Jackson's message was a warning about the critical role that the energy and positive spirit of the youth play in shaping the future and preserving the nation's strength. His story served as a stark reminder of the spiritual consequences of earthly actions and the need for repentance and spiritual vigilance. The experience was a poignant and unsettling revelation, highlighting the stark reality of the afterlife and the dire warnings that can emerge from such divine encounters. Revelation 20 verse 10, And the devil, who deceived them, was thrown into the lake of burning sulfur, where the beast and the false prophet had been thrown. They will be tormented day and night forever and ever. Father Blunt's account is likely to evoke strong emotional responses, from fear and anxiety about the nature of hell to a deeper contemplation of one's spiritual state. His story is intended to provoke a serious reflection on personal beliefs and actions, encouraging a reassessment of life choices in light of eternal consequences. Father Jim Blunt's journey to hell, as described, is a dramatic and vivid narrative meant to convey deep spiritual truths and moral lessons. It reflects a traditional Christian view of hell as a place of severe and unending punishment, designed to inspire believers to live righteously and seek salvation. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us His graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.